Welcome to Keaton's Outdoor Adventures. Today we're at the nature trail area and um, today we're going to go on a beautiful little walk and see beautiful sights like here is the creek if, as you can see. Um, so um, today is episode 8 I think and yeah so we're going to we're going to go and see some beautiful sights and go on a beautiful walk. I hope you enjoy the video and have a wonderful day. So, very beautiful. And listen to the birds. Oh, all over there. You can hear all the birds chirping. Beautiful day. But yesterday I was gonna do it. I was gonna watch the, I was gonna make the video, but it was too snowy. It was snowing like crazy, like it was cra like crazy yesterday. Which, um, which next month I've decided to go to Police Lake. I'm hoping because, um, because Police Lake is a, it's got a lot of, it's a really beautiful lake. It's got a lot of trees around it and, and stuff. And it's got huge trout in it. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to do that. Okay, Shay. So it's absolutely beautiful here. I know there's a lot, there's a lot of garbage. I might have to come up here, a garbage bag, clean up all the garbage. Which is kind of sad, but you know, I guess if you clean it off later on. But um, looks like the creek right there is looking good. It's got this uh, beautiful area. Yeah. There's graffiti on the wall. We don't want to look at that. Shake, you can already read what it says, so we better not show that. Yeah. Well, let's get going. This is, uh, what kind of, this is, um, looks like, uh, American kestrel. Kestrel, so. Yeah, so the kestrel is the smallest falcon in the province and the most colorful. Its striking black and white facial markings contrast with its rusty red crown and back and on the male's bluish wings. You will likely see a kestrel hover over a field, then dive feet first to catch a mouse, vole, or grasshopper. Watch for them perched on roadside power lines. Kestrels arrive in the province in mid-April and search out a cavity in a tree for their nests. Large nesting boxes are sometimes chosen. The family separates in the fall before migrating south in September. Sounds good. I gotta say thanks to Shay for reading that for me. Sometimes I'm not the greatest reader, which, uh, you know, when I, when I actually, um, when I write down my thing, things like when I answer comments and stuff, I normally have a thing that reads it to me on my phone, and then I, um, do a voice message, because I have autism and stuff, so I'm not the best at reading, which, um, you know, I could do better, but, you know, uh, yeah, just, um, enjoying this day. If you can see um, down here in my mouth. So you can see there's trees along here. And be beautiful spring day. And yeah, let's go check these trees here. Looks really beautiful. We've got this uh, slope that comes down in this, um, looks like this little um, thicket. It's, um, it's really beautiful, which I absolutely love. Love this. This is this is one one of them. This is definitely really beautiful. And you can see that there's stuff on these um, trees here, which um, it should be um, hopefully in just a couple more months they'll start to bloom, which that'll be nice. Ooh, it's really beautiful up here. Yeah. 
I'm gonna check down here. Do you mind not pan it? Oh, pan the camera down. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's um, it's just, it's um, yeah, it's um, really beautiful. As you can see, there's this uh, little creek here, and so um, so this um creek is um, this um this underwater river comes from under the town because the town's just right around, but it comes under, comes under, and that um, and the water comes in the river like from like from like the um, so up up ahead. This is not the sewage. But um, because it's Alberta, we don't we don't use um, sewage water in our creeks. But um, but up up ahead is there's there's this um there's a glacier area like where the snow kind of melts, and this comes from the snow area, and this feeds into Lee's Creek, and um yeah that's how we get our water here, which we we um in Alberta we don't really we don't really use sewage for you know like putting in creeks and stuff because we're, we're all about our clean and 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 good water so that's a that's another thing to know yep. as you can see if you close it up the water this is the creek but all these water areas start to kind of dam up in these in these um different um areas here and we get across there we go and and you can see that the beavers sometimes they'll come up here and grab all the sticks and start to build dams and um and um and try to dam up some of these areas so the fish like the trout when you know they come in here they get stuck they get stuck in that area and they and then makes it a really good fishing area which the trout will swim around and normally if you cast a hook you reel it in and um catch catch a trout but um speaking of which um, my friend just Past us, which we're gonna do a shout out for her this week, because this month, because I haven't done a shout out for a while. So shout out to Patricia Woodward. Um, she is a good friend, and she uh, she supports the channel. And and if you um, and if um, you ever want to get a shout out once a one, once a month, I I'll try to see if I can shout out one of you guys. And yeah, let's yeah, we're ready. You can see this uh this area right here which a lot of times the trout will like to come in this area but on these grass beds in the summer sometimes the uh, garter snakes they like to come up here and and they like to soak in the sun and they will actually they will actually like sit here for a while and just relax and sometimes if you come up here very quietly you can see them sitting all on the grass which you know is you know, a lot of people don't, some people don't like snakes. I, I, and I like them, but you know, it's, you know, it's kind of cool sometimes, but you gotta be careful. So yeah, and the trout like to come down here and, you know, get in this area. So yeah, it's really beautiful and let's get ready. So thank you for watching my video today. And, um, you know, um, it, it, I love, I love absolutely coming out here and filming these videos and and we we love doing it which actually even though sometimes when people are you know upset and don't like my videos sometimes I when some people when, when some people are just a little bit like mean or sometimes sometimes I feel bad but you know we're thinking about it I like my videos so I'm just gonna like them and forget about what people do and stuff sometimes like you know, sometimes people are mean, but you guys have been great, and I have no problem with you. I just noticed in the past, like sometimes there's a couple people that just don't don't like me, and you know, I just said, you know, whatever. I guess that's all you can do is, you know, just be good and go every day being good. So 